Step 1. Depreciation calculations of the historical year. This is calculated by straight line depreciation of 700 million over 9 years is equal to dollar $B, dollar $50 divided by dollar $C, dollar $50 is equal to 77.8 million. Remember to use the double dollar signs again. Step 2. Depreciation calculation for the incremental machinery and equipments from 2010 onwards. For this, we need to first link the respective capital expenditure numbers here. As done earlier, we will again use is equal to transpose E28 to K28. On pressing enter, we get hash value. For displaying the transposed array, we need to now select from cell B54 till B60 and we then press function key F2 for edit. Thereafter, simultaneously press Control, Shift and Enter. You will now find that all the data is now transposed. For calculation of depreciation, we assume the depreciation expense to be equal to 9 years. However, this assumption can be modified later to represent higher useful life of newer assets than older assets. In cell E54, we calculate the depreciation expense, that is, is equal to $B54 divided by $C54 is equal to 22.5 million. Note the usage of dollar signs. Likewise, the depreciation of 22.5 million is applicable for other future years. Similarly, we complete the waterfall table for other capital expenditures one by one. Again, note the ones highlighted in yellow. Our assumption that full depreciation to be charged in the first year of asset creation may not be realistic in this case too. We will again use a mid-year convention and instead of charging a full depreciation here, we charge only half the depreciation. For this, we have to divide all the highlighted yellow numbers by 2. The total depreciation contribution because of machinery and equipment is not only this original 77.8 million but also the addition of incremental depreciations of 11.3 million from the waterfall table. For this we write this generic formula is equal to E51 plus sum E54 to E60 is equal to 89.0 million. We apply the same formula for the depreciation expenses of the future years. Automobiles and trucks. First and foremost is to link the original automobiles and trucks number to cell B66 is equal to 270 million. The useful life given here is 9 years. Step 1 Depreciation calculation of the historical year. This is calculated by straight line depreciation of 700 million over 9 years is equal to dollar $B, dollar $66 divided by dollar $C, dollar $66 is equal to 30.0 million. Remember to use the double dollar signs again. Step 2. Depreciation calculation for the incremental automobiles and trucks from 2010 onwards. For this, we again need to first link the respective capital expenditure numbers here. As done earlier, we will use is equal to transpose E29 to K29. On pressing enter, we get hash value. For displaying the transposed array, we need to now select from cell B54 till B60 and we then press function key F2 for edit. 
Thereafter, simultaneously, press Ctrl, Shift and Enter. You will now find that all the data is now transposed. For calculation of depreciation, we assume the depreciation expenses to be equal to 9 years. However, this assumption can be modified to represent higher useful life of newer assets than older assets. In cell E70, we calculate the depreciation expense, that is, is equal to $B70 divided by $C70 is equal to 8.7 million. Again, note the usage of dollar signs. Likewise, the depreciation of 8.7 million is applicable for other future years. Similarly, we complete the waterfall table for this expense one by one. Again, we note this set of number, now highlighted in yellow. In this case as well, our assumption that full depreciation to be charged in the first year of asset creation may not be realistic. We will again use a mid-year convention and instead of charging a full depreciation here, we charge only half the depreciation assuming that the asset was created in the middle of the year. For this, we have to divide all the highlighted yellow numbers by 2. The total depreciation contribution because of automobiles and trucks is not only this original 30.0 million but also the addition of incremental depreciations from the waterfall table. For this, we write this generic formula is equal to E67 plus sum E70 to E76 is equal to 34.3 million. We apply the same formula for the depreciation expense of the future years. With this, we complete the depreciation contributions from individual items. Total depreciation of John Lewis is the sum of depreciation from 1. Building improvements 2. Machinery and equipments and 3. Automobiles and trucks that is, is equal to E46 plus E62 plus E78 for 2010 is equal to 139.7 million. Likewise, we find the depreciation expenses for 2011 onwards. Also, this space here is provided to link it to the historical depreciation numbers from the income statement is equal to Income Statement B12 The idea is to analyze if the depreciation expense trends are in line or not. As of now, depreciation expense of 139.7 million for 2010 and 135 million for 2009 are broadly in line and are not out of place. We can go ahead and complete the remaining depreciation schedule. Finally, it is time for us to find the ending property plant and equipment numbers using the base equation. For this, we need to complete only two linkages. Capital expenditure row 10 to be linked to row 6 with a positive sign. Depreciation expense row 11 to be referenced from row 81 here but with a negative sign. With this, we get the final ending property, plant and equipment, of 2010 to B is equal to 1,279 million. We also have the other ending property plant and equipment numbers for future years. Congratulations friends, we are now done with the depreciation schedule.